Hey guys, it's Brian and welcome to this DIY. So today we're going to be decorating a phone case and for that we need a silicone clear phone case. I'm working with this one that I actually did a DIY on my channel if you want to check it out. I show you how to make this but now I'm just going to remove the design because I'm going to be using the same phone case for this one as well. It's really easy if you're working with a silicone phone case. You just kind of like bend it until all your design is gone. In my case, I had some leftover pieces and I just went with my cotton bud and some acetone or nail polish remover and I just, you know, removed what was left in there. Once I've done that, I'm just going to take a big bowl and some water and I'm going to be working with some, a lot actually, nail polishes. I'm using a few shades or a few colors, but I'm going to be dropping a few drops of nail polish and once it expands my drop that's when I'm going to like soak my phone case on my water so once I have that I'm just going to move on to next color so as you can see I didn't have red but I did have um, this orange it's important to use a bowl that is big enough for you to submerge the whole phone case so you need to have like a lot of room in there for it to work so yeah I'm just going to keep on doing that with all my colors here I'm using green and then pink one thing that I would suggest you to do is work with a bowl that you don't use for food because once this is done, you're going to see that at the end it's going to be um, stained with nail polish. So just work with something that you never, ever, ever plan to use on baking or cooking and you're going to get to the point where your water, it gets dirty. So you're just going to have to clean that with one of these craft wood sticks or just any um, anything else, Q-tips, whatever works. Works. So just to remove the left over nail polish that is floating in the water. And then I'm going with some purple. I was kind of like going for the colors of the rainbow. You may see this technique on nail art. A lot of people are not going to be fan of this technique because it might feel like a um, waste of nail polishes. So just keep that in mind that sometimes you're going to find out that you're not going to be, you know, having the best results within the first drops that you get and then with some blue. Sometimes this happens and you drop some nail polish in there and nothing happens, like it goes straight to the bottom. Just have to keep on, um, you know, trying until it works. Those are the colors that I used, but I went back and forth with some of them because I felt like I could have more contrast and I wanted my colors to be more vibrant. One other thing, I'm using a clear phone case because I want to be able to see my phone through my phone case. I mean, if you want to work with a colored already phone case, just go ahead and do it. Now, as I was going through the process, I found myself experiencing a few tips and tricks that I wanted to share with you. The first, like, color that I did I didn't like and that's why I I chose to remove it right after that just in case you are like skeptical of trying this technique just know that you can easily remove the color and try again so I didn't wear gloves in the process because honestly I thought about it after that honestly I would highly suggest you to wear gloves just to protect your nails and hands because if you don't this may happen to you because you submerge your hand as well with your phone case so you're going to end up with nail polish all over the place nothing happens really you just have to work with uh, some acetone or nail polish remover but if you don't want to go through that um yeah just make sure you wear gloves and it's okay if you make a few mistakes or you just want to start all over again you just don't like the sign at all as it happened to me so no worries at the end of the day this is nail polish so you just have to remove it with some nail polish remover and a cotton pad and now to the bowl the bowl is going to be stained it's going to be messy again you just have to clean it with some nail polish remover or acetone and a cotton pad is reusable of course you just have to make sure you um, remove all the stains I wouldn't recommend it to use it for uh, cooking after this but it's pretty much up to you and that's it for the tips guys now this is what it looks like when it's dry I let it dry overnight because I was working with nail polish and nail polish tends to have other I'm going to seal the project with some gloss finish or some sealer this makes a huge difference in terms of colors popping a lot more and you can see it all comes together when you add a gloss finish and just keep in mind every time you try this it's going to be different from the previous one if you tried one before because you don't really control where the paint goes it's pretty cool because it's going to be 
uh, different. It's gonna have like its own character. So yeah, it's gonna be so much fun to see what kind of shapes the paint makes. And then I'm just going to place it back on my phone. If I were to do this again, or just a tip from me to you, if you care about you know being able to see the apple or any kind of design that your phone has don't go too crazy on like the top part because if it's too busy if there are a lot of colors in there you're just not going to be able to see the design other than that i really love how this one turned because i wanted something colorful but abstract funky i don't really know I just hope you like it. You can go colorful as I did here or you can try with black and white nail polishes. I think that will look amazing as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this idea, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. It helps a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And don't forget to share this so more people can watch and join. Thank you so much for your time watching. I hope you give it a try. It's so much fun. I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.